Hi folks, I'm Allie D'Andrea. Today I'm going to be giving you some tips on all you need to go fishing. Today I'll be focusing specifically on fishing with a spinning reel and rod setup. It's one of the easiest ways to get started, so let's jump into it. Before you head out, make sure to purchase a fishing license for the specific state that you'll be fishing in. Licenses are sold online and at most sporting goods stores. You can buy a single day, multi-day, or even an annual fishing license. A spinning rod and reel combo is your best bet as a beginner. And combo is really the key word here. It indicates that the reel and the rod are sold together and the reel is already pre-strung with line. So they're easy to set up and you can usually find a good one for under 50 bucks. Hooks are another piece of gear that you'll need to complete your setup. J hooks and circle hooks are both great places to start. Bait and lures will be your next purchase. Now, live bait like worms or minnows typically work best, but artificial lures are another option as well. Artificial bait usually comes in the form of a scented putty or strip. Lures, on the other hand, are artificial attractants that entice the fish and are a fun option once you get more comfortable with your casting skills. These come in all different forms. Some mimic minnows and crawfish, while others produce certain vibrations, noises, and visual stimulation. You might also want some bobbers and sinkers. Bobbers are small floating objects that bob when something hits your bait indicating that you have a bite. Sinkers, well, they're the exact opposite. They're small weights that make your bait sink. Lastly, you may wanna consider purchasing a rubber net to help you land the fish and handle the fish, as well as a small tackle box to hold all of your gear. Now, there are some skills that you'll want to learn before you land your first fish. You'll need to learn how to tie a strong and secure knot for tying on your lures and hooks. The improved clinch knot is a common fishing knot that you'll want to know before getting started. There are plenty of other knots that you can learn and have fun with once you gain a little more experience. Casting a spinning reel is simple and intuitive. Hold the rod with your dominant hand. You'll need to flip up the bale, hold the line with your pointer finger, and bring the rod tip up and slightly behind you. From there, you'll cast forward using your wrist and your elbow. You'll release the line from your finger and send your lure flying. Once your lure is in the water, you'll wanna flip the bale back over and you can begin reeling. It's helpful to know where the fish may be hiding so that you can better target them, also known as reading the water. In lakes and ponds, fish usually hang out in or around weeds in downed trees close to shore. They might also congregate near drop-offs where the water depth and temperature changes drastically. While it can be intimidating at first, fishing is really one of the easiest outdoor hobbies to pick up. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to the Take Me Fishing YouTube channel. For more helpful fishing tips, visit takemefishing.org.